Hello friends, it is a very important CBSC question. Uh, what is Gauss law and application of Gauss law? What is Gauss law? Electric flux is equal to charge by epsilon naught. It is a Gauss law. Application of Gauss law. A thin sheet, a thin rod, uh, it's, it's partially charged. So that means the electric field will be passed away from the rod. It is directly outwards from the thin rod or thin wire. So, I am considered as the gas surface according to the source shape. Source means the thin rod only source. Now, I consider as the gas surface. So, gas surface, uh, on the gas surface, I consider some unit area. It's dA. The area vector this side, electric field also this side. The angle between area vector and uh, electric field will be 0 degree. So, flux, electric flux is equal to electric field into uh, integration of a closed integral of electric field into area with cos theta. I know already cos theta will be um, cos 0 will be cos 0 degree is equal to 1. So, that means electric flux is equal to E times of closed integral of dA. What is a closed integral of dA? This closed surface area. So, the circumference of the cylinder 2 pi r, height of the cylinder, it is a length of the cylinder, I am considered as a L. So, the total surface area of the cylinder will be 2 pi r L. So, that means total electric flux is equal to E times of integration of dA is going to be A, total area that is called 2 pi r L. So, I know already according to the Gauss law, Gauss law, flux, electric flux is equal to charge per epsilon naught. That means Q divided by equation 1 and equation 2. Equal both the equation Q divided by epsilon naught is equal to E 2 pi r L. That means electric field is equal to Q divided by 2 pi r L epsilon naught. Lambda is a line integral charge per unit length. It is a charge density per unit length. Charge density per unit length. That means Q by L we can call as a lambda. That means electric field is equal to lambda by 2 pi or epsilon naught. Thank you.